Now, just one thing before we start. What is it, Sheldon? <laughs> what the hell? That was for my cushion. Sheldon, don't you get it? If this takes off, I won't have to be a waitress anymore. But then who will bring me my cheeseburger on Tuesday nights? Another waitress? What's her name? I don't know. And you're going to let her handle my food? Nancy. Her name is Nancy. I think you're just making that up. Charlotte, I'm sorry about your hamburger, okay? I just don't want to be a waitress for the rest of my life. Cheeseburger. I get a cheeseburger. Fine. Cheeseburger. Maybe I'd be better off with Nancy. Here. Now, are we friends, colleagues, lovers? Are you my grandmother? She calls me Moon Pie because I'm nummy nummy and she could just eat me up. There are children in a sneaker factory in Indonesia who out earn you. That just can't be right. Are you questioning my math? No, sorry. Do you want me to show my work? Oh, God, no, no. How are flower barrettes going to appeal to men? We had Bluetooth. <gasps> Brilliant. Men love Bluetooth. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You want to make a hair barrette with Bluetooth? You, Penny, everything is better with Bluetooth. <laughs> Hello, fastest man alive. Want to see me read your entire comic book? Want to see it again? Something's wrong. What do you mean? I'm not sure. <laughs> it doesn't feel right. <laughs> to Sheldon, live long and prosper. Leonard Nimoy. He came into the restaurant, sorry the napkin's dirty, he wiped his mouth with it. <laughs> I possess the DNA of Leonard Nimoy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess, but look, he signed it. <laughs> Do you realize what this means? <laughs> All I need is a healthy ovum, and I can grow my own Leonard Nimoy. Sheldon. Sheldon. Guns are sold my soul to the company store. <laughs> Honey, do you want some coffee? No, I don't drink coffee. Oh, come on, but if you don't stay awake, we'll never finish in time. No, I'm sorry, coffee's out of the question. When I moved to California, I promised my mother that I wouldn't start doing drugs. <sighs> Penny. <laughs> I'm a physicist. I have a working knowledge of the entire universe and everything it contains. Who's Radiohead? Oh. I have a working knowledge of the important things in the universe. Good luck. Okay, I got a box, but there's no key in here, just letters. That's the wrong box. Put it back. Oh, Sheldon, are these letters from your grandmother? Don't read those letters. Oh, look, she calls you Moon Pie. That is so cute. Put down the letters! <laughs> Sheldon, what did you do? I know. <laughs> it's not enough, is it? Here. Maybe John Connor's aboard and she's protecting him from an evil Terminator. <laughs> Unlikely. That's a television show, Leonard. Thank you.
And of course, if Skynet actually did exist in the future, a perfect way to infiltrate and destroy mankind would be to send Terminators back, posing as actors who have played Terminators in popular films and television series, and lulling us into a false sense of security, i.e., that Summer Glau from the Sarah Connor Chronicles. You, no, Summer, don't kill me. I'm pro robot. <laughs> At least he's off the train crap. <laughs> Whee! Come on, Sheldon, you got this. Indeed. We are prepared for anything he can throw at us. That's new. Run, Buddy, run! Run, Buddy! Planck's constant. People say that's arbitrary. That could not be less arbitrary. If it varied even slightly, life as we know it would not exist. Bam! <laughs> now, now, let's reconsider the entire argument, but with entropy reversed and effect preceding cause. So, you are thinking of a universe that's not expanding from the center. No, it is retreating from a, from a possibility space. Bam! <laughs> This is a space where we are all essentially Alice through the looking glass, standing in front of the Red Queen, and we're being offered a cracker to quench our thirst. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> and of course, in another universe, that's called that universe clown, there's another show there. Called... Should've let him go to bed. Bam. <laughs> Are you crouching there? This is my spot. <laughs> Where else am I supposed to crouch? Still here? Where am I going? I'm on a train. Now, what you'll be looking for is a small wooden box located between a Hoberman sphere and a sample of quartz flecked with pyrite. Hoberman sphere. It's a collapsible icoside dodecahedron. No, the thing with the time on it is my alarm clock. All right, now, before you enter my bedroom unescorted, I need you to understand that this one-time grant of access does not create a permanent easement. <laughs> easement. <laughs> it's a legal right of access. Good grief. <laughs> what? No, don't put me on hold. I oh! All right, this is cruel. We better let him finish before his head explodes. All right, Sheldon, why is tapioca... Tapioca is extracted from the root of the plant monohot escalenta due to a high concentration of cyanide it is poisonous in its raw form and lethal if prepared improperly. Feel better now? It is also indigenous to Brazil, as is the cocoa bean from which we get chocolate the best pudding. You promised you wouldn't do that anymore. Take some. Pay me back when you can. Wow, you got a lot of money in there. That's why it's guarded by snakes. <laughs> well done, Leonard. <laughs> the true hero doesn't seek adulation. He fights for right and justice simply because it's his nature. Penny's hooking up with her jerk of an ex-boyfriend and I have indelible ink on my forehead. <laughs> Not your badge of honor. You're a warrior's wound, if you will. Yeah, I was wrong. Minstrels will write songs about you. Great. There once was a brave lad named Leonard <laughs> with a five-five fiddle dee dee. He faced a fearsome giant while Raj just wanted to pee. <laughs> So is this your entire job? <laughs> Parents must be so proud. Zoom, zoom, zoom! Where's the coffee? We're all out. No problem. I'll be back before this banana hits the ground. Zoom, 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 zoom!